to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your and with your spirit. I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. To celebrate worthily, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirits and renew the face of the earth. Take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in every one. To teach individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, 
and all the parts of the body, though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit, the word of the Lord. Come, thou Holy Spirit, come, and from thy celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, thou Father of the poor, come, thou source of all our store, come within our bosoms shine. Thou of comforters the best, Thou the soul's most welcome guest, Sweet refreshment here below. In our labor rest most sweet, Grateful coolness in the heat, Solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, Shine within these hearts of thine, And our inmost being fill. Where thou art not, man hath not, Nothing good in deed or thought, Nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, On our dryness pour thy dew. Wash the stains of guilt away, Bend the stubborn heart and will, Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray on the faithful who adore and confess thee evermore. In thy sevenfold gifts descend. Give them virtue's sure reward. Give them thy salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hand and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, 
receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. So today we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. It's official inauguration of the church. Pentecost literally means 50th. It is a feast celebrated on the 50th day after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ by all Christians. What happened on the Pentecost day? The Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary as fiery tanks. The frightened apostles were transformed into fiery preachers and evangelizers and were given the gift of tongues by a special anointing of the Holy Spirit. The listeners experienced a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit through the apostles' gift of tongues. They heard Peter speaking in their native language. The early Christians became powerful witnesses and brave martyrs for their faith in Jesus Christ. Let us think about the role of the Holy Spirit in the Christian life. First, as an indwelling God, the Holy Spirit makes us his living temples. We see, see, we see this 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Second, as a strengthening God, he strengthens us in our fight against temptations and in our mission of bearing witness to Christ by our transparent Christian lives. Third, as a sanctifying God, he makes us holy through the sacraments. Through baptism, he makes us children of God and heirs of heaven. Through confirmation, he makes us temples of God, warriors and defenders of the faith. Through the, through the sacrament of reconciliation, he enables us to reconcile with God by pardoning our sins. Through the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, he gives us spiritual nourishment by converting bread and wine into Jesus' body and blood through epiclesis. Through the sacraments of the priesthood and matrimony, he makes us the church community holy. As a teaching and guiding God, he clearly clarifies and constantly reminds us of Christ's teachings and guides the magisterium of the church to teach Christ's teaching correctly. As a listening and speaking God, he listens to our prayers, enables us to pray, and speaks to us mainly through the Bible. Finally, as a giver of gifts, he gives us the gifts such as wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, fear of the Lord and fruits of the Holy Spirit such as love, joy, peace, patience, knowledge, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. And we get charisms like healing, performing miracles, prophecy, interpretation of the tongues, thus enriching the church in various ways. We need to permit the Holy Spirit to take control of our lives by constantly remembering His holy presence and behaving well, by praying for His daily anointing so that we may fight against our temptations and control our evil tendencies, evil habits, and addictions, by asking His daily assistance to pray listening to God through meditative reading in the Bible, talking to Him in our personal prayer 
and by asking the help of the Holy Spirit to do good for others and to get reconciled with God, with ourselves and with others every day. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Let us come to God with prayers inspired by the Holy Spirit, who gives us life and direction in a sometimes confusing and mixed up world. For all the faithful who have been signed and sealed by the Holy Spirit, that the church may remain united as one body through their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the outpouring of the spirit of peace that men and women may know forgiveness and freedom from their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For ourselves, as we gather in prayer, that the Spirit who makes our Eucharistic gifts come alive may strengthen us in our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an end to the violence in our country, as we strive for racial equality among all peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who have died, especially Arthur Seeger Jr., Alfredo Brito, Joe Woodward, Rick Roberts, Francisco Porras, Mary Cars, Sean Stauffer Jr., Father George Monaghan, Dr. Carmelo A. Garcia, James McLean, Mary and James, Pseudo Remo Capolino, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, get okay, our prayers. And for our Mass intentions, for the repose of the soul of Dennis O'Hagan, for Father Joel, and for Father Abraham, for the living and deceased members of St. Jude, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Father all-powerful, receive these prayers from a people made one by the Holy Spirit, who always dwells amongst us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. 
Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness who have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which you become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, we will be accepted by you, O Lord. We are sacrificed in your sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord set sacrifice for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, Overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the one ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That which the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, is blessed Joseph, her spouse, is the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but with what is from. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that he should come. But only say the word, and my soul shall be him. And the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Factus est repente, de cielo sonus, adveniente spiritus, vementis, ubierant. 
Let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, save God, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You want to sing? You don't want to sing? Huh? No, I'm not. So you just go. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> before the final blessing, I wish to uh, announce to you, though with mixed feelings, that uh, the bishop has transferred me from St. Jude to St. Francis Frisco, effective July 1st. I'm still much, very much around until July 1st. I will be moving. Thank you. Oh, are they? Yeah. 
We'd like to thank you all who have continued your financial support of St. Jude. It is helping pay our daily and monthly expenses, which does include our staff. Please consider donating. If you haven't done so, you can mail your envelope to the parish or go to our website to donate online. We appreciate all of you and pray for your health and safety. On June 1st, we will begin accepting Mass intentions for our Father's Day Novena. You can register your Mass intentions on our website. And finally, our former seminarian, Father Ryan Heistutter, was ordained a priest yesterday. We congratulate him and pray for God's blessing upon him and his ministry. Father Andrew is with him this morning for his first Mass. We do a blessing. You do a blessing. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessings and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. 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 And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Of the 